There are now an estimated 2.5 million Syrian refugees scattered across neighboring countries, and Rabi Kiwan is one of them. He's an artist and now lives in Beirut. He originally came from Sweden near Dara, where the protests against the Assad regime began in 2011. What changed in my work before and after the events is that I used to work on general issues, societal problems, psychological or personal issues. Now it's more specific, sometimes relating to the events themselves and sometimes to the consequences of these events on me, on people, our surroundings and the whole situation we're living in. Fadi Al Hamwi is from Damascus and now also lives in Beirut. The memory of working in the capital during the uprising has had a profound impact on his art. Now, sitting in a safe place, doing what you love, you paint, you read, you write or work, while you hear this sound which is simply the sound of people dying somewhere. You're in a situation where you hear sounds from a place so close to you, but still you can't do anything. Raghad Mardini is a Syrian art lover now living in Beirut. In 2012, she founded Ara, an artist's residence, which aims to help young Syrian contemporary artists and give them a safe place to work. When they come from Syria, they're very tired, they're exhausted, they're pessimistic, they're depressed, and they hardly see anything in the horizon. It's only fragmentation, fear, despair, and um, pain which connects us all. Sami Daoud is a Syrian art critic and an art gallery director who lives in Kurdistan in Iraq. He is in Beirut to lecture in some Lebanese universities about war and expression. The policies that are in force creating the situation in Syria revere violence. They've turned violence into something sacred. Violence has become a god. When violence becomes a god, primitive human beings' barbarism re-emerges in society. What protects society against this barbarism is art in all its forms. Photography, sculpture, music, poetry, everything. They preserve the human spirit in society, preserve the human seed, so that in the future we can build a civil society again. The paradox for many refugee artists is that the violence and destruction in their home country means that art galleries all over the world are increasingly interested in Syrian art.